Hello and welcome everyone, this is your friend Himmel. In this video I'm gonna show you, what to do after installing, Kali Linux for the first time. Attackers can easily identify and access internet connected systems that use shared default passwords. It is imperative to change default manufacturer password. If repository file is empty, or if it contains wrong repositories then it may display error message, while downloading or accessing files. So check repository file using these codes. It should look like this, if not then I have given it on the description box, so copy it from there. And now, to edit repository file go to this location. Now, paste the repositories copied from description box. And save it. Now, command to update the system. If you have a default installation of Kali, you should be checking for updates every few weeks. It keeps your system up to date. It may take time, depending on your internet speed. Git is one of the basic program which your system must contain. Let me show you how to clone files or programs using Git. VLC is a free and open source cross-platform multimedia, player and framework that plays most multimedia files, and various streaming protocols. To open VLC, just command it. Visual Studio Code is a lightweight but powerful source code editor, which runs on your desktop and is available for Linux too, comes with built-in support for JavaScript, TypeScript and Node. Choose Debian file, since Kali Linux is based on Debian architecture. Open the downloads folder and open it on terminal.
Terminal Multiplexer is a software application, which it allows multiple terminal sessions to be accessed simultaneously in a single window. It helps to save time and makes work a bit effortless. You can add one or more terminal, in the same terminal window. Each and every tools are not included in installation package, so we have to install required tools later on, as per need. Let me show you an example here. The Tor browser is a web browser designed for anonymous web surfing and protection against traffic analysis. It ensures private and secure browsing. It may take time, depending on your internet speed. Now, Tor Browser is ready to use. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe the channel it means a lot to me. See you on next video.